नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटल एज अ पार्ट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट एंड यू नो वेदर यू से इट एज रिक्वेस्ट वेदर यू से इट एज मोटिवेशन वॉट एवर इट इज वॉट एवर दैट I have been doing so far this video recordings or uh, whatever you say you know I also need certain kind of motivation at first place and secondly I am doing it because I wanted to give it back to the society I also spend lot of time and burn more energy as well just give that small bit of it or the you know, small part you know where you know if you could really think that yes whatever he is telling let's try listening to it and give that small bit of support it could be cash or kind or whatever it is if you can donate small bit of it my channel would be really thankful to you and i would be able to produce much better results it's a request and i also commit mistake and mistakes as well i am also normal human being please do correct if you think that i have committed mistake i am telling wrong at any place please do correct me you can always call me on my phone number 9121379100 this is what is my gpay number as well and the phone pay number also is the same if you see though i am sharing those details with you and in case if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to send it across to the email address of n a r a d l a r a m a c h a n d r a at the rate yahoo.com or simple smith12384 at the rate gmail.com small part of donation whether it is cash whether it is kind whether it is help or whatever it is will really motivate individuals like me to do videos like this i appreciate your patience i thank again for watching my videos in advance please do like subscribe share stay blessed have a real blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead
Namaste. In my previous video, I was talking about the unity with whole and transcendence. Celestial, intracelestial, and the human body's connection with the cosmic a higher cosmic energy levels. Now I was telling, I will be talking about the intuition and uh, metaphysical existence. Metaphysical existence and physical existence. To start with, Asya Shri Shuddha Shakti Mala Maha Mantrasya Upastha Indriya Adi Varuna Aditya Rishahi Daivi Gayatri Chandaha Sattvika Gakkara Bhattarika Pitasthita Srimad Kameshwaranka Nilaya Srimad Kameshwari Devata Aim Bijam Kleem Shaktihi Saukilakam Shri Devi Pritiyarte Khatka Sityarte Chape Vini Yogaha Purna Madaha Purna Vidam Purna Purna Meva Vashishyate Purnasya Purna Madaya Purna Meva Vashishyate ब्रह्म सत्यम जगत मित्या ब्रह्म इव जीवो ना परहा आई मंगुष्ठा प्याम नमः क्लीम तर्जनी प्याम नमः सहु मध्यमा प्याम नमः सहु अनामिका प्याम नमः क्लीम कनिष्ठका प्याम नमः इन करताला कर पुरुषता प्याम नमः आई मृदयाय नमः क्लीम सिरसे स्वाहा सहु शिखाय वश्यत सहु कवचाय हूँ क्लीम नेत्र त्रयाय वाउष्ट आय मस्त्राय फट बूर बुवसुवरो इतिदेक बंधा सर्वलोक गोत्रों भवस्य एग्रह अनुकूल स्थानस्य स्वर्ग पर उच्च प्रदा इच्छा शक्ति ज्ञान शक्ति क्रिया शक्ति नाउ how do you understand this intuition or the intuitive and that metaphysical existence? And uh, you may ask, sir, you are talking about this Saptaswaras and you are talking about the Nada Bindu Kala or the center of cosmic uh, consciousness and uh, you are talking about the macro and micro cosmic uh, cosmos or uh, Brahmanda Indanda Pindanda Iti Brahmanda Purane Uttarakhande Hayakriva or whatever it is, cosmic consciousness. Now see intuition is nothing but your thoughts. In my previous videos I was talking about that uh, you know uh, using that pineal gland it arises thoughts in your mind, right? Do you remember that? Ladies and gentlemen, if people are following my videos. See, again, this intuition and metaphysical existence which I am talking about is more or less related to the human existence from the Anu and the Paramanu point of view. When you are able to leave your body in that Yoga Nitra Avastha, I am not talking about Nitra Avastha, in Nitra Avastha what happens is you will still have that body, physical body with you. But in Yoga Nitra what happens is, this body will not be there. Even your skin will not be there. Even your gender will not be there. Whether you are male, whether you are female doesn't really, it does not care at a higher consciousness level. This is what is called para and apara. And this is where Drik Trishya Viveka aspect comes into picture. 
I was talking about drashta and drushya, right? What is this drashta? Drashta is nothing but those thoughts that you develop as you grow up, as you grow till the time the baby is in the mother's womb, what happens is this drashta and trushya aspect starts happening. That is the reason why feminine form is respected a lot. It is given that due respect at a higher level. Again, I am telling, we are on a consistent basis abusing this feminine form. We are not understanding the divine form of the femininity. I see this happening in the social media. I see this happening in the movies. I see this happening while talking also. Think about it ladies and gentlemen, I am not trying to find fault with you, but I am trying to give that, uh, you know, information, important information to understand this intuition and this uh, metaphysical conce concept. As I was telling in my previous videos, our human brain has 65 uh, million neurons and uh, universe has a hundred billion, uh, you know, galaxies. Now both of them needs to get connected. How do you get connected? Pasa re pasa re re pasa re pasa pasa re pasa sa pasa pasa pa re sa pa re sa. Sapada sapada pada pada pa sapada sada pa sada pa sada pa re pa re pa re pa sada ni sada ni sa ni sa ni sapada sapada sa samagare sa samagare sa sarega sarega rega rega maga 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 sare sa. Here Ma will not come or a strong intuition will not come or that stress will not come. For, for us to get connected to that multiverse at an intracelestial level or intracelestial level and above, I mean uh, abysmal zone and above to that infinity stage. One needs to understand, leave his or her body. This is what is the sadhana for Rajashyamala and Matangi. In Sri Vidya Sadhana. Understand this, ladies and gentlemen. This intuition is nothing but procrastinated thoughts which are positive, which helps one to get connected to the multiverse above us. at meta and para-physical level. If I say meta and para-physical level, it's intracellular level. Again. And those, that energy, whatever that we are getting connected, that's when that intuition starts working and it directly gets into your body through Sahasrara here. And 
it directly gets to this Agnya Chakra. Here again that energy is blasted out. Thus through your eyes you would be able to get that outer result. Understand this ladies and gentlemen. It's not as easy as it is told, but this can be understood through sadhana ampe. And this is what, this is why that yoga was introduced. Yoga nidra, nidra, nidra vastha, yoga nidra. Yoga drashta, yoga drushya. And this is more easily understood, attained by the dancers, by and large. The point is, <coughs> sorry about that, this human consciousness is vulnerable to those vibrations. Vibrations of the swaras that affect our body, that affect our brain, which is having 65 billion neurons and 100 billion uh, galaxies in it, etc. And this happens just like this in fraction of seconds. You might say, Sir, how are you explaining all of this? This is the beauty of sadhana, yoga sadhana. This is the beauty of meditation, highest level of meditation, transcendental meditation. I am not talking about uh, what uh, outsiders are teaching. I don't uh, even uh, count on that. Reason being, they don't really understand the true meaning or they don't really have the uh, true sense of, uh, you know, understanding about the transcendental meditation. They say in 45 minutes, we will get you to the transcendence state. No, ladies and gentlemen, it's not possible. You will have to do a lot of sadhana. You will have to understand those vibrations. You will have to go through various stages. Even to understand Matangi and Raja Shyamala, that's when you will be able to understand this intuition part and its connected connection to metaphysical uh, existence. This existence again is both form and formless. You will feel it, but once you start feeling that, you will not be here. For me, it, uh, it takes a long time to get to that state, but I can always feel that uh, existence. You know, at I am still in a initial stage. That non-existence, when you get to that non-existence stage, that is where the sadhaka is able to forget himself or herself. And this is the stage where Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and Swami Vivekananda and Ramana Maharshi, Shirdi Sai Baba, or Tyagaraja, Muttu Swami Dikshita, Shyama Shastri, to name a few. 
this have had that these uh, individuals uh, got to that stage wherein they could get to that uh, you know intuitive when that uh, metaphysical existence connection they could do that as a part of note and disclaimer please do not copy any of these people even when you are doing sadhana also please understand you will come across various pitfalls and you will come across various tests if you are ready for that only then you do that rajashyamala and matangi is also i am giving a stern warning it is note and disclaimer also don't just do it for the heck of doing it if you are doing it do it diligently or else it will not give any kind of result if anything goes wrong also you will face those consequences because this intuition or this intuitive part which i am talking about you are directly getting connected to that uh, at a metaphysical level existence not even coexistence existence the moment you get to that the kind of energies that are emitted is enormous it's not as easy as it seems to be this is my experience that i am telling nobody knows this i have seen some of them asking me can you write lyrics about it but it is not as easy as it seems to be ladies and gentlemen this should not be experimented it is not for the experimental purposes think about it ladies and gentlemen till then stay blessed have a blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead and in my next video i will be talking about the portal connection to the spiritual world